What's going on, y'all? Thanks for checking in to Callie's Take. You know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell just so you can get the newest and the bonus content first. But hey, let's just go ahead and jump right in. It seems like the Lakers coach is really high on the Lakers, as he should be. He's the coach. He's the one that's running the show. He's the one that's the head of the snake right now. He's the one that's the, you know, that has pressure on him as well. Even though Darvin Ham is a rookie head coach, you know, he spoke about the expectations and what, you know, the expectations of the Lakers and what fans should expect of the Lakers. If you go on LakersNation.com, you know, you can hear his comments or read the comments about, you know, what he speaks of. And he says the team is going to be very competitive and very together and, you know, basically going to play a lot better than the way they played last year. And, you know, I hope Darvin Ham is right because... You know, the Lakers looked really bad last year. Worst Lakers team I ever seen put on the floor. Probably the worst team that I seen that they had where they really had no structure. You see what I'm saying? They had no game plan going into the season or at, or at any point in the season that they played. I mean, it was injuries. If it wasn't injuries, it was Russell Westbrook not playing up to his level of, uh, you know, the way he's supposed to. Then LeBron started, you know, having moments where he would turn the ball over. It's almost like he was becoming a product of his, of his environment with Russell Westbrook. And Anthony Davis, as usual, doesn't stay healthy as well. So, I mean, like, when you factor all this stuff in, it's like when you look at the Lakers, it's like this team really isn't built to win anything anytime soon. And I don't know, I don't believe Darvin Ham is really going to make all the world difference. I mean, he can push them, but they have to want to do it. They have to want to win. And this, in the way they played last year, the effort wasn't there. And when a team plays with no effort or a lack of effort, they find themselves in situations that the Lakers found themselves in, which was a situation that they, you know, um, found themselves losing, not playing up to the level that people think that they could have or should have. And on top of that, when you think about, you know, what's expected of this team, they were supposed to be looked at as one of the teams that, you know, could win. At least a lot of analysts thought that if, if all all of them were healthy but the problem is it doesn't matter how much health you have if there's no chemistry and really Russ is just not a fit for any team that's trying to win a championship because Russ's is, his game is not built for that his game is more built for individual play and getting his own stats which has always worked for him but at this point in his career championships are a little bit more important and i think that's the reason why lebron is really overplaying with russell westbrook because he just knows that he really can't get this to work and if any player could have get it to, could have gotten to work really it was lebron but he might have one more crack at it going into this season because it looks like they might end up keeping russell westbrook and darvin ham is you know behind russell westbrook and everybody on the team and i feel like darvin ham is saying the right things you know, coming off the right way, you know, looking at it the right way, but at the same time, it's gonna take a lot to get this team where they need to be. And I don't know if Darfur Ham can do that. I don't know if he'll have enough time to do that. I mean, like I said, you know, after this year, I don't think Russell Westbrook will be there after this upcoming season. I feel like Russell Westbrook might be gone after next season or basically walk. And I just, you know, don't think a lot of, you know, chemistry is going to be built with this team because of all the, the rift that was going on this offseason about Kyrie coming there and so many trades and, you know, so many different scenarios for Russell Westbrook to be gone. And you hear reports that LeBron doesn't want to deal with Russ going into this season. You know, um, it's just so much going on right now in the Lakers. It just doesn't seem like basketball is their number one priority. It just seems like drama is. You see what I'm saying? And and that's it's more drama going on with the Lakers than winning. And that's never a good thing when you have more, when you're being talked about more because of, you know, the players you have on your on your roster rather than being talked about because you actually played a good season or had a good season and you you, you got high hopes going into the next season you know what i'm saying so it and, and it's, it's just different with the lakers the outcome of their season really it dictated who they are as a team which is a team that's not that doesn't have chemistry but as i said before i don't know how much darvin ham could make a difference because he's a rookie head coach himself he's really coming into a situation with a team that needs help and he's a rookie he doesn't even know 
what it's like to be a head coach. You see what I'm saying? He's been an assistant coach. All that's great. But being a head coach of a team, it's just another level up. And everybody can't do that job. Everybody can't play that role to the high perfection. And you know, like I said, Darvin Ham is saying all the right things. So, I mean, hopefully all that he's saying comes out to be true. But you have to understand if it doesn't, you know, it's almost like it doesn't really look that bad on him too much because he is a rookie head coach and he's just trying to be the most positive person in the room by saying all the right things to push all the right buttons on these players to get what he needs to get out of them which is more competitiveness on both ends of the floor and more chemistry so they can build and be a better team while they're on the floor and this is what I'm saying it's going to be hard to get that when you look at this team because they're not a fit and like I said with all these trade scenarios and all these things that you're hearing about I know it doesn't make Russell feel any more comfortable than what he has felt being on the Lakers so far which has which isn't a comfortable feeling at all because really it's all been drama since he's been there and it's all been you know situations that you know um that, that that's not helping the team so I mean unless they really make a drastic change and guys really you know um, buy into what Darvin Ham is saying or whatever he's teaching which I believe that's a possibility um they might suffer going into this upcoming season as well but you know we're gonna we're gonna see how it all pans out I want to see if Darvin Ham can keep this group together when it gets really tough in the season I want to see if he can try to you know mend these guys and keep them you know whole as one even though they're going through the struggles of the season and you know the, the things are not going their way and you know hopefully this team doesn't break because after last season they have got to redeem themselves and play a lot better this upcoming season so um my thing is like i said let's see what happens i hope darvin ham is right i hope they be more competitive hope they be a better team and hopefully um you know have a better season as well but hey, that's my take on everything. Leave any comments in the comment section. As always, check out my other videos if you haven't. And uh, hey, Cali out.